doing that. It's not going to cost so much. 65,000 crores is what it's going to cost. And it will completely transform the way people are thinking about this current situation, their current situation. Because they have to understand, if you're on daily wages, you do not have choices. You simply do not have a choice. So we have to give them a choice. That's point number one. Point number two is the transfer of migrants. I'm not an expert on this. So I'm not going to sit and opine what I think about trains. But what I do think is that a conversation between states has to happen. And these decisions have to be made with empathy towards migrants, with thinking about their rights, so not crushing their rights, but they have to happen between states and the center has to oversee them. The pain has to be reduced, absolutely. So you're saying the minimum income right away, Mr. Gandhi? Am I correct? Yeah. The... I'm, saying, I'm saying that we are in an emergency. We require absolutely the idea of Nike. Call it whatever you want. Call it something else. Call it Pran, Pradhan Mantri, uh, Yojana, whatever you want to do. But the idea of injecting immediately 7,500 rupees directly into 50% of Indian households is critical. And it's not such a big ask price. Second, the idea that we can simply let our job creators drown. This is not feasible. We have to protect them. We have to make sure that we give them a wage protection scheme, 1 lakh crore wage protection scheme, and 1 lakh crore credit guarantee scheme to MSMEs. And then we have to give them six month interest subsidy. So we have to, we have to build a wall for them so that they can fight what is coming. We have to, we have to give them a finance, we have to build a financial support behind them. Look, it is pretty clear that a lot of these companies are going to go down. If we do not do anything, massive number of them are going to go down. So we have to ensure that we build a wall and we protect as many of them as possible. Now, there's another thing here, which is, which is something important. When we think about India's business system, we cannot simply say MSEs, MSMEs and not big business because there is a link between big business and MSMEs. Most of the stuff the MSMEs supply goes to big business. So if your big business isn't firing, your MSMEs can't fire. So there has to be a, a view where we are thinking systemically, where we are working to start the economy, where we are certainly giving much more benefit to the small and medium industry, but we're also keeping in mind that there is a link between large business and small and medium business. And if we suddenly say, okay, only MS, SMM, only small business is going to be helped and big business is going to be left to its own devices, will actually harm small business as well. Thing to understand in this current situation is everything is connected. And if you want to start the engine, you cannot think of starting just one part of the engine. You've got to start the whole engine. That is why creating demand, putting money into the system, putting money into poor people's hands, uh, helping small and medium businesses, making sure you're protecting some of the larger players. These are all things that are interlinked if you want to start the economy. Uh, thank you, sir. May I go back to the news agency, IANS? Yes. Uh, Mr. Uh, go ahead. From IANS. It's almost 45 days into the lockdown. Does it surprise you that there is no sign of much talk about fiscal stimulus package? Congress party and Tony Gandhi have given suggestions so many times. Comment. In fact, Congress president has written uh, many letters and asking for a special package. We haven't still heard from the government anything about fiscal deficit, uh, fiscal assistance package. Why is it necessary? The assistance is necessary. Why? No, sorry, you're saying the assistance is necessary. Why? Uh, why is it necessary? Why is it essential to announce it soon? Uh, because the Indian economy stopped. Because businesses are collapsing. And you need to give, you need to create demand immediately. You need to get the business, the system started. Otherwise, we'll have a catastrophe. 
right now i understand that there is a there is a view in the government that if we move too fast and we spend too much money we might end up getting a uh, a downgrade and we might end up uh, creating problems with the rupee but my sense is that you've got to take that risk you have to move aggressively now because if you do not control and defend the foundation of our economy downgrade and all will not matter anymore uh, thank you sir india india uh, india is all about domestic consumption we have to start domestic consumption we have to start the, the engine and it, i'm sorry to say we're losing time and the more time we lose the worse the impact is going to be but do, why do you think that government is delaying it i i said to you that there is a sense in the government that creating a large deficit will create will create problems externally on as far as the rupee is concerned and as far as downgrading of our uh, of our country is concerned but i think the government needs to stop worrying about that and move quickly to protect the heart of our economy uh, thank you sir uh, uh, from uh, pti bhasha anwar ji kripya apna sawal puchiye uh, sir namaskar uh, sir aap bar bar jo hai decentralization ki baat kar rahe hain us sandarbh mein aapko kya lagta hai jo kendra sarkar ka rukh raha hai ab tak rajyon ke prati wo usse aap usse aap kaise dekhte hain और जो प्रधानमंत्री की कोट अनकोट स्ट्रांग लीडर की जो छवि है उसका संकट के इस समय कितना फायदा और कितना नुकसान हुआ है आपके नजरिए में थैंक यू सर देखिए फ्रेंकली अगर आप मुझे पूछें देखिए प्राइम मिनिस्टर की स्टाइल है और वो उसकी जगह है वो उनके उनका तरीका है उनका स्टाइल है मगर ऐसी घटना में मुझे एक स्ट्रांग लीडर के बजाय बहुत सारे स्ट्रॉन्ग चीफ मिनिस्टर एक स्ट्रॉन्ग प्राइम मिनिस्टर और बहुत सारे स्ट्रॉन्ग डीएम्स बहुत सारे स्ट्रॉन्ग कलेक्टर्स चाहिए मुझे चाहिए कि हम बीमारी को लोकल लेवल पे ही निपटा दें हर हर लेवल पे बीमारी के सामने एक स्ट्रॉन्ग हिंदुस्तानी लीडर खड़ा हो चाहे वो डीएम हो चाहे वो किसान हो मगर मैं मैं उनकी स्टाइल है वो अलग है वो ठीक है मैं आपको छोटा सा उदाहरण देता हूं ये जो जोन बने हैं रेड ग्रीन ये नेशनल लेवल से बने हैं ये जोन स्टेट लेवल पे बनने चाहिए हमारे स्टेट के चीफ मिनिस्टर्स हमें कह रहे हैं कि नेशनल लेवल पे जो रेड जोन है वो एक्चुअली ग्रीन जोन है और जो ग्रीन जोन है वो एक्चुअली रेड जोन है तो इंफॉर्मेशन स्टेट लेवल लीडर्स के पास है तो जरूरी है कि जो हमारे जोन बन रहे हैं उदाहरण दिया है जो हमारे जोन बन रहे हैं वो एक्चुअली डीएम और चीफ मिनिस्टर के बेसिस पे बनने चाहिए डीएम के पास इंफॉर्मेशन है चीफ मिनिस्टर के पास इंफॉर्मेशन है दिल्ली में ये इंफॉर्मेशन नहीं है छोटा 